Hello people, welcome to the United Way TV. My name is Rob Dukan and this is our preview Manchester United versus Chelsea, which will be tomorrow at 4.30 in the afternoon, guys. So guys, uh, stay tuned to it. Give me 10 minutes of your time. I want to tell you my approach and also uh, the way United should go into this game. And I need you to contribute that. Guys, please drop your line up below. I know it is uh, a temporal manager who is going to be in charge of this game in the name of uh, Van Nistelrooy. I need that support and energy from you guys. So drop your comments below. What will be, if Van Nistelrooy can be a manager of Manchester United, then you could. So tell me what would be a preferable lineup for you as a fan for Manchester United. You might be a Chelsea fan. Drop it below. Let's see what you have. But yeah, this is a game in which United... For to, uh, us to keep our, uh, you know, our dreams of qualifying for top four is still possible somehow. We need to win the game because uh, we have lost. We have done a lot of draws. We have lost games which we didn't have to lose. And uh, that led to our manager being sat, uh, you know. So going into the game, I just want to go straight, guys. Look at the tactical board here. Yeah, this is what we are. This is what is more important. I need to know how we will play. I think we should play this game going with three at the back. We are at all trapped. We need to dominate in the midfield. This is what is clear. Forget about who is injured, who is not. United needs to control the midfield. We have to be aggressive. So, I mean, I mean, being aggressive. That's why I told, I put on my, 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 you know, um, put on my, you know, my, 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 my preview. I put Ogate. Ogate has a role to play. He has a statement to to to, to give here on this game. Why he was bought? Because the game will be uh, played in the midfield. The energy has to be filled. We know that. Uh, we know that. Enzo, the Brazilian, isn't given time. He hasn't played a Premier League game yet. The manager Enzo uh, Marata also have said that he, he will give him some time, but not now. It seems as if those two Enzos are not happy. One, it's a, it's a bit strange what is going on with Chelsea, but guess what? It's not a Chelsea channel, so we'll talk about our problem because we have a lot. Guys, please make sure you click the like on the video, subscribe to the channel. I would love to see you on our next live stream. We'll be doing that maybe going forward. Um, it's an up and down. I don't need to explain that. We will tell you guys sometimes when all this has come to an end, uh, how difficult things have been for us all this while, because we are honest here on this channel. So please, guys, share the videos and uh, get involved. Drop your comments below. I am going. Let's go to the lineup because I think no matter how how Ten Hag Ten Hag, Ten Hag has been playing a very cautious game, playing with players, not his system, but playing with player systems that might fit the players. And uh, hence, it has brought us really negative in terms of the way we play, especially this season where Manchester United, we haven't scored goals. We started scoring goals only when Ten Hag left because uh, he was so scared. I'll put it this way. He was so scared to make the, to make certain decisions because, you know, uh, considering that his job has, has always been on the line from the day that uh, we, we, we started the season. Uh, but as you guys know, uh, uh, jo um, Amaron will be the new... Uh, Ruben Amaron will be the new manager of Manchester United. It was official yesterday. I've sent my take about it. If you want to look at it, go to this. Uh, we did a live stream yesterday. And guys, please subscribe and click the bells so you don't miss my videos. So if you're at work, maybe in the evenings, you can come and uh, contribute on the videos. Uh, so you click the bell. Do that. So how do we start this game? How do we beat Chelsea? How do we go into the game? First of all, the biggest story now is is if Beinda starts or, and, uh, or Onana. Onana came out of after the game uh, uh, that we did well and um, expressed his opinion to, to to keep playing and supporting Manchester United in terms of his uh, out, uh, his output. But I think Van Nistelrooy putting Beinda in that game was a statement. I will stick with Beinda in that game. Honestly, I will. I will stick with Beinda to so give him confidence. I want to be in a position where nobody is comfortable in Manchester United shirt. I hope you guys understand. We have had players who know that even they don't play, they will play. Even they are not in good shape, they will play. So we, we want to move that culture out of the team. So I think Beinda to stay. I would even prefer Beinda to stay and enjoy that game. Pooh, no. But he should stay. He should start the game, Beinda, and win that confidence. Back to our, 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 um, we will play with Delete on the right, left. I will go uh, the left side. of. I want us to play back three. The left side will be, um, you know, Lisandro, Delete, and we have... Uh, we have uh, Delo on the right. So we play with the three backs, which will be like a pivot, you know. So it will be like a V sign, if you know what I'm talking. It, they will play like this on the back. Then in front of them, right, you will have, we must, we don't know about how Kobe Manu's situation will is. I think he is not that fit. We also know that the French international also has not fit. Uh, uh, so we will do, I will do, I will go with the holding midfield of Ogati. 
And because Casemiro has had a good game, the last one, I will start with him and Ogate in the midfield. And Bruno will have to shift and come to the midfield as well. That would be, I want a communication between Bruno and Casemiro while going forward. Guys, tell me if you like the way we're using this, uh, the, the football here, the tactical ball here. So I want Bruno and Casemiro to be communicating who goes forward when we're on a counter-attack and who helps. Bruno has to do a lot of work in here. Then, but Ogate goes nowhere. He is here to support the V, the opposite V here. So the diamond will be here. Casemiro, I mean, Ogate will play the, the role of the diamond. So he will be the he will be the link up play guy in the midfield. Ogate, everything should pass between him and Casemiro. But Bruno will be a midfielder. No messing around about going out of attack. Then on the left, I would I, I think this guy is so dangerous. I will go with. Uh, this is a tough one. It's easy for me to bring in uh, uh, Alexander Ganacho on the right, and if I'm going with form. I will start this game on as Ahmad because we have to control this game. Rashford should be on the bench for me. Rashford should be on the bench. I will start with Ahmad. Or then, then and the attack line, I will start with Rasmus Holland. If Holland is not in good shape, then Marcus Rashford can play uh, as a nine. Because this is what I've just thought. I'm trying, it just went out of my head, guys. I don't need to prepare for these videos. We have seen United many times. Marcus Rashford can play as a nine, but he can play as a false nine. But the reason why I think I should bring Rakush Rashford if Rasmus is not feeling well is because I want that that pace in the attack, you know, someone who can, those long balls from Bruno, from Casemiro, someone who can just peer ahead and score. We need to start with the game with some dynamic. Tell me what you think below. Maybe I've said something wrong. You have a better opinion. Drop it below. Where is Tunde? Since Ten Hag was sacked, I haven't heard of Tunde. I just saw his text once and he said, I'll be back. I hope you're safe, Tunde. And uh, Van Hoist, uh, I would love to know what people think about Ruth Van Nistelrooy. Should he stay uh, at Manchester United or should he move on? It is important for us to know this as fans, you know. So I think Van Nistelrooy is, uh, play. for me personally, my heart is telling me for him to stay because, look, it will be difficult for Amaron to just come in and impose. Even if you think Amaron comes, right? Robin Amaron comes to Manchester United tomorrow. We start winning and being the top club in Europe. Then... You, I mean, maybe I want to say this, maybe football is for you, but you don't understand the way it works in Manchester United because we are a club which the, the media is against us, the, the, the club, the, our opponents are against us, of late the referees are against us. So if all this pressure is on a manager who doesn't understand the way the people and the culture of the place is, it will be pretty tough for the manager to be productive. Let's, be, let's just be clear. This is just the basics, the baseline of everything. So it would be a smart thing for Amaron to have a chat with Van Nistelrooy and say, you know what, I want my three people to come, but I want to work with you closely. I need your input, not in the terms of expertise, but in the terms of, not only in the terms of expertise, because there's no one who's perfect, we will do things my way, uh, but uh, I will from time to time want to know what you think about what we are doing in regards to the Premier League. Because, look, you keep asking me, yeah, right, about oh, why are players not doing well in the Premier League, why are players not doing well in Manchester United? It's because the Premier League is different. It's a league big of pace, highly mediatized uh, league, and also too much money, hence, you know, attraction will be there. So it is very important that you have uh, a manager that, ha that is well equipped in all these areas if I'm making sense. So tell me what you think below about Manchester United. Personally, you know, I think, uh, let me go to the scores. <laughs> I haven't said my scores yet. You wouldn't believe that. So Manchester United, I've gone for a 3-1 Manchester United or 3-2. I want it to be a fire game. I've been reading everywhere. People are talking about who is going to, how are we going to de defend against Chelsea? Look, Chelsea has their flaws. They are, they are flaws, right? We know that the young attacker of the Chelsea, uh, the former Manchester City attacker, um, uh, uh, he, he is a good player, but I don't even want to call his name here. But guess what? We are Manchester United. We have to try to develop the way we play. If we do very quick transition, the way we did with Leicester, we will win that game comfortably. I mean, quick transition. I'm not talking about those goals that went could go in or not. Quick transition is the key. Let me just put it. Quick transition. That's what I'm going to put. Quick transition equals to win. Because if we can do that, then we will put Chelsea on the back foot. And that is the way we will go. Guys, please, if you love what you've heard, guys, please make sure you click the like and the video. Subscribe to the channel. What are you waiting? You don't pay anything for this bloody subscription. And, uh, yeah, and I would love to see you next time. Huh? And, uh, yeah, that's how we're going to go. And, well, um, what can I say? Yeah, I hope United wins tomorrow. And guess what? After tom And tomorrow after the game, I'll be live here yeah, shouting my ass out if we lose that game. We want to see Rude makes, uh, makes, uh, uh, impose his... Uh, 
his his personality on that page because I even mean, if Root moves on away from United, I'm sure he's going to be in the friend. He will be in the lineup to be take a Premier League football club because he deserved that. Anyway, guys, great speaking to you. I've gone for a three one or three two win Manchester United at Old Trafford. If the referee is not against us because we know these referees, I told you about the Van Mafia and we are seeing it live now. With that all said, talk to you soon. Bye bye, guys. Have a lovely, lovely weekend.